Hey guys, I wanted to chat to you today about a few myths that are out there in our world and most of them are about love and how love plays its role in our world or how we should expect love or how we do expect love and to give as well. Now what I found is that love really is a misunderstood term. At the end of the day, what we consider love is generally fairly conditional on what someone else does for us. Whereas the truth about love is that the essence of real unconditional love is that it is there no matter what the circumstances. And within that type of love, it, the person or the, the being that expresses that, like animals are a really good example of being able to do that, express love unconditionally. Yet as humans, we tend to obscure things based on our story, on our perception of how we see the world. And the interesting thing about this is that one of the, the greatest secrets of relationships is that no one can love you more than you love yourself. Therefore, if you are experiencing a lack of love or an inability to attract somebody else that you would like to be loved by, the place to actually start is right here. And once we can get inside of ourselves and realize what is stopping us and blocking us from loving ourselves, then we can actually open our heart to not only receive more, but also give more. It's a bit of a two-way street. And the opposites have to be there. Like the more, the more we experience love for others, the more we give it to ourselves. The more that we judge others, the more that we judge ourselves. And that's the way that the energy in the universe works. And therefore, in order to really be in a, in a relationship that has more harmony than not, is to understand that you're not there to make someone happy or for them to make you happy, yet instead there to evolve and grow as your own self. To, so to shed the layers that are stopping you from this most awesome divine love that you can experience if you take the time and the pain and the healing that you, we need to go through in order to open up that heart. The heart that began as a fresh, unconditional, loving being when you were born. Yet over time we get conditioned by life, our childhood, our parents, our society, our friends, our community. So many influences that change the way we feel about love and what to expect from it. Therefore, if we can take full responsibility for our own feelings and emotions, knowing that that is in fact the only thing we have control over in this life, is how we react, how we choose to manage our emotions. And the thing is about emotions, is that they are our compass point. The emotions that we suppress and try not to have so much of the time in today's society are in fact our guidance system towards our greatest dreams. So it's very ironic that we have been trying to suppress these emotions all these years, which is also suppressing our dreams. I talk a lot more about how to use your emotions and feelings as a guidance system. And it's not about staying stuck in any emotion. It's about processing the emotion and being aware of it, using it for what it's good for, and then moving on to the next step of life. I mean, the aim of the game is to evolve, to expand, and have joy along the way. So that's just my take on a bit of love talk for the day, for the day and hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, guys. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, click the bell button, and we'll see you next time.